The Bishop of Down and Connor, Dr. Cahill Daly, is called The Weekend Murder of a Catholic in North Belfast is a story of quite horrifying brutality. Speaking at Requiem Mass for John O'Neill, whose badly beaten body was found in a stream at Ballysillan, Dr. Daly said that the sectarian killers were sick people who betrayed their true Protestant heritage. The police have few clues to the murder of John O'Neill, whose body was found on Saturday morning. They believe the killing was sectarian, but they haven't been able to trace Mr O'Neill's movements after he left a city centre bar on Friday night and told workmates he'd get a taxi home. At Requiem Mass this morning, Bishop Cahill Daly said the murder bore all the familiar and gruesome hallmarks of a new sectarian murder. There's something peculiarly perverse and satanic about murder that's motivated by religious bigotry and sectarian hate. Sectarianism is a deformation of religion. It's a corruption of Christianity. Protestant sectarianism is a betrayal of the true Protestant heritage. It's an insult to the Protestant name. Bishop Daly said in four years he'd spoken at the funerals of nine Catholics who were the victims of sectarian killers. He appealed to the people of Ligonil. Don't listen to anyone who might argue that retaliation is the way to prevent further attack, or that paramilitary men with guns are needed to protect Catholic communities in these dangerous times. These are lying words. John O'Neill's parents said he was a quiet and inoffensive man. He'd worked as a painter since leaving school. Local councillors condemned the killing. I am convinced that the UVF are behind it. I think there's a unit of the UV UVF in North Belfast who are behind the wave of murders which we've seen since January. This is the third. And when Leo Scullion was murdered in January, I predicted that this was the beginning of a series of sectarian attacks. Well, the people I would blame are the unionist politicians who have been advocating this type of action against ordinary innocent Catholics in the run-up to this since the Anglo-Irish Agreement. They're the people that I hold responsible for it. But Bishop Daly appealed to Protestant and Catholic clergy to work together against sectarian killing, which he said appeared to be increasing. But IRA murders too, he said, were seen as sectarian. These assassinations are seen by Protestants and inevitably seen by them as, have a sectarian, as having a sectarian tinge as well. And this is an evil which we must categorically condemn. Our renunciation of violence must not be selective. It must be unequivocal, absolute and unconditional from whatever source.